Hey y'all, I was not expecting to get back on with another video tonight because God's had me posting quite a bit. He was just dropping so many things on my heart and he was like, go ahead and get this out, go ahead and get this out. So here I am again. Um, this is actually going to be connected to, or linked I guess I should say, to a word that God had me put out um, a, a few weeks ago and the title was, When I Think of Home I Picture You and Rest. Um, and God gave me that particular word through a song by Lizzie McAlpine called Same Boat. So I was sitting, spending time with God, and he led me to go onto YouTube. And um, the live version of that song, which I've never seen before, popped up on my timeline. And I was like, oh, interesting. Like, normally that wouldn't really um, stick out to me. But Holy Spirit prompted me to just pay attention to it. I clicked on it, watched it for a few seconds, but I didn't feel led to listen to it. He was more so speaking about um, just the fact that it was there. And then he got me thinking about the word that he had me put out through that song. So he put it on my heart to go back and re-watch that word. And um, he reminded me of something I mentioned in that word where right before I started writing the download that God gave me that day, he told me to write from the heart. And I mentioned in the video that we were going to talk about that later. And Holy Spirit's telling me that now is the time for us to talk about that. For those of you that that word was for, this word is also for you, okay? But you still need to take it back to God for further confirmation, um, further revelation, really, and insight regarding your personal situation, okay? You need to make sure you test the Spirit with any word, all words. Anyways, so... Your prodigal, okay, your God-ordained spouse who is a prodigal, this is a very specific word, right? They're struggling, which we know through that previous word, God let us know that they're struggling to reach out, they're struggling with overthinking about what it would look like if they reached out, they're wanting us to be the ones to reach out, and God instructed us in that word that we were not to do that. You were not to reach out to your God-ordained spouse, again, if you had already done so in the past, as led by God or as led by flesh, either way, God was just instructing you not to do it again, um, that this person was the one who needed to make the move, that this indeed was going to come to pass through this person um, following the leading of the Holy Spirit and taking that leap of faith, right? And so God just wanted to provide further insight in regards to what that was going to look like for your God-ordained spouses. God's brought it to my attention that a lot of you, including myself at some points even, um, were thinking about, you know, how this person is so... Or you are so used to seeing this person give in to fear. You're so used to seeing your person give in to doubt and confusion from the enemy that you are wondering to yourself, how are they going to muster up the courage to reach out? How are they going to figure out what they need to say? How are they going to take that leap of faith and not lean on their own understanding? And God is letting you know that he's encouraging them to simply speak from the heart. He's encouraging them to get out of their own head, to get out of their own carnal understanding. He's encouraging them to lean into how they feel about you. He's encouraging them to lean into the visions he's given them, the dreams he's given them, the confirmations he sent their way. God is reminding you that just like you started off somewhere and you were having a difficult time hearing his voice, over time it grew. As you continue to take leaps of faith and trust that you were hearing him, it grew and it strengthened and you were, um, or you came to the point where you're now able to identify when he's speaking to you. You know, he's saying you are human, just like your, your prodigal, who's no longer a prodigal in Jesus' name, is human. He's saying... <laughs> Just because your journey with this person has been a different kind of unique, a different kind of tumultuous, a different kind of stressful, a different kind of spiritual, just so unique, okay? And interesting. He is saying that this person is not so different that he can't reach them the way he reached you. So when it comes down to it and they finally reach out because they will, he is encouraging you that they are going to, all right? It is going to happen. You have been hearing God. Those have been confirmations sent from him to confirm that this is indeed his will for your life and your love story. This is how he wants to get the glory, okay? Not everyone's story is the same, all right? And thank you, Holy Spirit. He wants to address these people on TikTok and YouTube talking about, 
prodigal spouses and prodigal relationships aren't biblical that's not of god listen child they're gonna look super goofy when these testimonies come out as these testimonies begin to pour out oh my gosh they're gonna have to repent so pray for them pray for them but be very careful of those words that are popping up because oftentimes it's like a part of that word is true but they do not address um the people that the promise does apply to a lot of those messages that i've seen it's talking about in a general sense and the enemy loves that he uses that to um instill fear doubt and confusion and a sense of panic in those or in the hearts of those who actually have received a promise regarding the return of someone from their past as it pertains to kingdom marriage which is a prodigal relationship it's a prodigal story Personally, I try not to even listen to those words. Sometimes God will lead me to so I can address it in videos like this, but more often than not, it's just a it's just a door for the enemy to to slither on through and make me doubt and make me go into confusion and none of that is my portion and none of that is your portion in Jesus name, okay? So be very careful about what you're listening to on TikTok and on these social media platforms with these people who have so much to say about a promise that they haven't even been given. And you also need to be careful about the people who have received the promise, but their discernment was off and they were involved with the counterfeit and so they get burned. And I'm not discounting that experience because it's very real and it's very painful to have to go through, right? But you have to be careful about the individuals who go through something like that and then take to social media and then they speak through their pain, they speak through their painful experience and they discount the promise of... Um, prodigal redemption okay and it discourages those who are still trusting god for their promise to come to pass and when speaking through their pain they make it seem as if it's not actually something that god would promise them that they were hearing from the enemy the entire time when that's not the case at least not for everybody but anyways i came on here to encourage you guys god wants to encourage you that when it comes down to it your kingdom spouse okay who was once a prodigal but who is no longer a prodigal if this is for you right now take it to god they are going to be pushed to reach out to you and speak from the heart when those words finally come out it's going to be thank you holy spirit what they say is going to be in alignment with everything god's been telling you they've been thinking and feeling this entire time what they say is only going to be further confirmation of their heart posture towards you their feelings for you, their admiration towards you, their love for you, okay? Their perspective of you as inspired by the Holy Spirit. They see you through God's eyes, just as God's been encouraging you to partner with him to see them through his eyes. Because when they come back, you can't be looking at them like they're a prodigal, like they're still um, a mess and you want nothing to do with them because you want to guard your heart and you don't want to go through pain anymore. And they're looking at you like, like flower petals and rainbows and your, your heaven on earth. You know what I mean? Like God is saying he's worked on their perspective of you. So you've been pushed to look at them from a different light and that's not been for no reason. And last little tidbit, something that was on my heart not too long ago today was um, I just found myself thinking about how it feels like things are moving so slow. Like, like I know it's literally about to happen, but if I think about it too much, it feels like it could take another few months, another few years, maybe another year, but I rebuke that in Jesus' name because I know that's not my portion. Um, at least based on what God's told me. So whatever God's told you timeline wise, expectation wise, hold on to it. Make sure you check your expectations with Holy Spirit so you're not making your own heart and hope deferred and then pointing the finger at God like, well, God, you said, da, da, da. you know, got to be careful about that. But I said that to say um, God was putting it on my heart that it's not going to look like it until it looks like it. It's not really going to feel like it until you are in it. You are walking it out. And even then, when it happens, it's going to be so surreal. You're going to have to pinch yourself like, is this really happening? Like, I've been praying for this for gosh who knows how long because everyone's journey is different but some people have been waiting years and even if you've been waiting months and this is about to happen for you listen um it can feel like years okay so i am not discounting anyone's journey because regardless of how long you've been waiting it 
it's a difficult walk it's a difficult journey and you were chosen to walk this thing out because god knew you could take it god knew you would stick it out with him god knew you could handle it all right so be encouraged your god ordained spouse is going to reach out in god's perfect timing and Ooh, thank you holy spirit this is confirmation for those of you who have already received this revelation so if you haven't received this it's not for you yet but for those of you who god's told you he is no longer keeping this person from reaching out to you he's released this person to reach out this is your confirmation that is the case in jesus name and he's saying the only thing keeping this person from reaching out is that last little bit of of doubt that last little bit of apprehension he said pray for them and it's gonna happen sooner than you think bro <laughs> pray and prepare and prepare however god's been leading you to prepare however 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 a lot of his children are getting ready to move in this hour and your move is directly connected and tied to your god ordained spouse prodigal or not but um it's tied to your reconciliation with this person and then um, if it's not a prodigal and you're watching this then this little bit is for you your move is tied to your joining with the person that God has for you okay so however God's been leading you to prepare please 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 do so please do so okay um, you don't want to be caught slipping but that is all I have for you guys tonight I love you I will catch you in my next video